Curious about the impact of the proposed NAR settlement on Fairfax County real estate? Welcome to the April edition of the Real Estate Market Insight. I'm Melvin Yates, and it's my pleasure to steer you through the dynamic world of real estate, or should I say the dynamic neighborhood of real estate. This issue is specifically tailored for home sellers, providing a detailed exam of the latest trends, data, and effective pricing strategies. Now we aim to furnish you with crucial insights and resources needed to manage the intricacies of the current market, now whether you're selling or buying in this specific area. This video is sponsored by the Let's Talk Real with Mel podcast. If you haven't tuned in yet, make sure you hang out with me three times a week. We've got a fantastic lineup of guests from all walks of life discussing real life topics, triumphs, setbacks, and everything in between. Find us wherever you search for podcasts. Now for the numbers. The average sales price was $839,295. This is a 8.1% increase over last year and a 0.5% decrease over last month. The total sales volume in Fairfax County last month all added up was $671,373,926, and that's up 16.8% over the prior month. The average time it took to find a buyer was 14 days. What's everyone talking about? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. The cherry blossoms, one, and two, the NAR proposed settlement news. That's the National Association of Realtors in this proposed settlement of the class action lawsuit, multiple class action lawsuits against the National Association of Realtors. And what does that mean for you as a home buyer, as a home seller? It's gonna mean more transparency, better transparency you could, so you can make different, or in some cases, better decisions with your real estate transaction. I will say that now more than ever is not the time to work with your, you know, your cousin, your nephew, the neighbor's son, the neighbor's daughter as your real estate professional. This is the most important transaction, most expensive transaction for most people in their lives. You want to work with someone with experience, a real estate team that has decades of experience to assist you in making the best decisions and being able to explain what this whole NAR news is about. Um, there are lots of headlines out there, but definitely talk to a professional, a real estate professional, and they'll be able to assist. In all of Fairfax County, there were 818 homes that ultimately sold. That's up 18% over the prior month and down 14.8% over last year this time. Wait just a moment before you leave. I've got a golden tip for you. Please take a moment to visit our website and explore an annual equity update. It's an excellent opportunity to understand the present value of your home. And don't forget, I'm always available to help through phone, text, or email for any reason, any questions you might have. Your support means the world to us, so please make sure you like and subscribe. Now as your dedicated real estate team in the DMV, we're devoted to assisting you at every turn. Looking forward to our next update. See you soon.